Hi everyone. In this video, we will discuss all the type B solutions of the first chapter Python Revision Tour 1 from class 12. The first question goes like this. Fill the machine line of codes. The code reads a limit amount and a list of prices and program terminates when a price zero is entered. The program prints the largest price that is less than the limit. The codes are like this. First limit is a variable which is accepting a value from the user. Then max price is initialized with zero. And next price is another price which is entered by the user. And if the entered price is zero, then it will stop there. Now the loop is like this. While next price is greater than zero, it will check if next price is greater than maximum price. Then maximum price will be assigned with the value next price. Now again, again it will ask for the next price. Then whatever value is entered by the user that will be stored in a variable next price. And when the user enters zero, it will stop there. And if max price is greater than zero, then it has to print the maximum price that is less than limit is maximum price. That means the variable max price now contains the maximum price which is which are the uh, which are entered by the user. Otherwise, print the maximum price is zero. Now we'll run the program. Let's say the limit price that I'm entering that is 100. Now the next price that is entered is 78. Next is 85. Next is 81. And finally, I entered zero to stop it. Now it's showing that the maximum price that is less than the limit is 85. The second question is to predict the output of the following program. Here, one count variable is initialized with zero and while count is less than 10, it has to print hello as well as count. And count value is every time is incremented by one. Now this is the output. Once you run, it will print hello zero, hello one, hello two, like this. Initial value of count is zero and it will stop when it is less than 10. That means it is at nine. The next piece of code is like this. X is initialized with 10 and Y is zero. While X is greater than Y, it has to print X, Y. And within the loop itself, X will be incremented by one and Y will be, X is uh, decremented by one and Y will be incremented by one. So initially, obviously it will print the values 10 and zero as the initial values of X and Y. And here it is satisfying the condition that is X is greater than Y. After that, the values will change. That means X will become nine and Y will become one. And it will continue like this. And it will stop when X and Y both will become five. That time it is not satisfying the condition and the loop will terminate there. Now this piece of code is like this. Keep going is a variable which is initialized with true. And the variable X that is initialized with 100. While keep going, print x that means while true when the condition is true why because keep going is having the value true then it will print x now x will be decremented by 10 if x is less than 50 then keep going will be false so now since while the condition is true then it will print x that is 100 after that x will be decremented by 10 x value will become 90 then it will be 80 like this it will continue but when it will be less than 50 that time our variable keep going is false so it will stop there the output is like this once you run it will print 100 then 90 80 70 60 50 then when the x value becomes 40 then there keep going is false so it will stop there in this code x is initialized with 45 and the condition is while x is less than 50, it will print x. Now there is no value change is there for x. That means x value is always 45. And here since 45 is less than 50, so the condition is true. And it will print x as 45. But there is no condition for termination. So this loop will continue infinitely or it will produce an infinite loop. 
Now in this code, here is for x in the list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, print x. So it will print all the values that are present in the list. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now here for p in range 1 to 10, print p. So here it will print p as 1, 2, 3, 4 like this until 9. Why 10 value will not be included. So it will print 1, 2, 3, 4 till 9. Now z in range minus 500 to 500 with a stay value of 100 print z. That means the initial value of z is minus 500. The next value will be minus 400. Next is minus 300. Like this it will be incremented by 100 every time. And the stop value is 500. That means it will stop just before it reaches 500. That means it will stop at 400. So the output is like this 5 minus 500 minus 400 minus 300 like this till plus 400. Here x is initialized with 10 and y is 5 for i in range x minus y into 2 print i. But here you can see your uh, y minus 2 becomes 10. So x minus y that is 10 minus 10 it is 0. So since our range is 0 that means there are no values. So the loop will not execute. So there will be no output. Now here C is initialized with 0 for x in range 10 and within that another nested for loop for y in range 5 C will be incremented by 1. Now print C but here the print statement is outside the for loop. So it will only print the final value of C. Here the final value of C is 50. Why? Because for every uh, value of x in the range 1 to 10 or 1 to 9 or sorry 0 to 9 y value will range from 0 to 4. So like this uh, the final value of c will be 50 and it will print that value. Now here x is a list containing the values 1, 2 and 3 and counter is a variable initialized with 0. While counter value is less than length of x then it will print x of counter into percent or y in x print y into star. So counter will be incremented by 1 after that. So there is a for loop within a while loop. This while loop will continue 3 times. That means length of x is 3. Initialized counter is initialized with 0. So 3 times this loop will continue. And each time for y in x it has to print y multiplied by star. So the output is like this. So this percent symbol will be printed once that is x within square bracket it is counted. That means um, the value which is present at the zero index number of the list x that is one. So percent symbol will be printed one time. Then for that the star will be printed uh, like three times first time it is one star second time two stars third time three stars and again as per the while loop percent symbol will be printed two times why because now your uh, the least value which is present at the index number one that is two so it will be printed two times and for that again the star will be printed same three times like this it will continue the whole thing three times. For x and lamp, here lamp is a string having four characters. Now print str.upper of x. Now it will print all the characters in the string lamp in uppercase. Now see the output is like this. Now x is a string having value o n e 1 and y is another string having values t w o. And while counter is less than length of x, it has to print x uh, within square bracket counter. That means the uh, index number counter, comma, y within square bracket counter. And counter will be every time incremented by 1. So initially counter value is 0. So the value which is present at the 0 index of x is O. And similarly, the value present at the 0 index of y, that is T. 
So first time it will print OT. In the second run, it will print NW, second uh, execution. And third execution will print EO. Like this, it will display. Now here, X is a string containing uh, the words like apple, pear, and peach, which are separated by comma. Now we are splitting by using a split function. X will be splitted. Wherever it will find a comma symbol, it will split it and will store in a variable Y. Now for Z in Y, it has to print Z. Here Y is actually a list containing the different words which are present in the string X. And it will print all the words that those are present in the list Y. That is apple, pear and peach. Now here X is a string containing different values like apple, comma, pear, comma, peach, comma, grapefruit. Now Y is a list which will uh, split the string X and it will uh, put the values in the variable Y, in the list Y, wherever it will find comma. Now for Z in Y, if Z is less than M, print str.lower of Z. Otherwise print str.upper.z. So here Z is actually containing all the different values which are present in the list Y. That means all the different fruit names. And But if Z is less than M, my, uh, that means the first character of the word, if it is less than M, then it will print in lowercase. If it is more than M, that means the character comes after M, then it will print in uppercase. So as you can see here, the fruit names apple and grapefruit those two characters A and G that come before M, so those will be printed in lowercase. And the fruit speech and the pear, that, uh, it's, uh, it starts with P, that uh, character that comes after M, so it will be printed in uppercase. Now the question is, find and write the output of the following Python code. The code is like this, for name in the list, list of names are there, print the name. If name of 0 is equal to T, then it will break. Otherwise, it will print finished. And finally, it will print got it. So here you can see the output is like this. So first, it will read the name Jays. And here, the name doesn't begin with T. So it will go to the else part and it will print finished. And uh, the next time the loop will uh, continue, the next name it will encounter that is Ramya and Ramya doesn't begin with T so it will print finished. The next name is Taruna and uh, it begins with T. So once it will encounter with a name which is beginning with T and it will uh, stop there itself that means the loop will uh, exit over there. That means once the loop will encounter the name Tarun it will exit the loop there. The next question is how many times will the following loop will execute and what's the output? Here for i in range minus 1, 7 and minus 2 and for j in range 3 print i and j. Here you can notice one thing here uh, the first uh, loop is for i in range minus 1 to 7 here step value is minus 2. So that means the value will always be decremented. Minus 1, the next value will be minus 3, and then minus 5, like this will continue. It will never come to 7. So for that purpose, the loop will not continue and there will be no output. Now for i in range 1, 3 and step value is 1. Then within that, for j in range i plus 1, it has to print star. So here, how many times i will continue for i in range 1 to 3? That means actually there are two values for i. i is equal to 1 and i is equal to 2. And for each value of i, j in range i plus 1. That means when i value is 1, j will range from 0 to 1 because it will stop at 2. Similarly, when the i value is 2, that time j will range from 0, 1 and 2. It will stop at 3. So, for i value of 1, j value will be 0 and 1. For i value 2, j value will be 0, 1 and 2. 
so there will be total five executions of the star so star will be printed five times now the next question is to check whether the loop is infinite or not uh, let's see the code here m is equal to 3 n is equal to 5 while n is less than 10 m is equal to n minus 1 and n is equal to 2 into n minus m print n at m so when we run this code you can see the first value of n is 6 why because m becomes n minus 1 that is m becomes 4 and n becomes 2 into 5 that is 10 minus 4 that is 6 so first values of n and m are 6 and 4 and the next values will be like this 7 and 5 8 and 6 9 and 7 then finally 10 and 8 now n becomes less than 10 so it will stop there so it will not produce any infinite loop now here ends the solutions of chapter 1 of type b so here we have discussed all the application based uh, questions which are uh, there at the end of the chapter 1 that is python revision tour 1 now in the next video we will discuss some other chapters